Oh, hello, integrals and differentials. It's Dolph. Welcome to my kitchen. And you may be wondering, where is your body? And yes, I'm wearing a green shirt. I'm chroma king now because I just reached my 2,000 subscribers. And to do something a little unusual, why not just do the entire introduction with a green shirt on? So just bear with it. I'll dress something more appropriate uh, when the matches come. So this video is about Giratina EX. Knew about it because I told you in the last video when I was doing my champ and it got well, second in the poll. So let's talk about this Pokemon. And um, I better turn off this poll. You don't want to need to see anymore. And here we go. Giratina EX. One of the newest EX cards from the Ancient Origins. What does it do? Renegade Pulse prevents all effects including damage from Mega Pokemon. Now, your opponent knows this, so I thought it may not work out, but turns out in certain cases is excellent against Mega Dex. You'll definitely see that in the last match. Now, Chaos Wheel is also annoying itself. 100 damage is quite a lot. Two shots, most EX Pokemons, and um, you can't, your opponent cannot play Poke Tools, cannot play Special Energies, cannot play Stadiums. You're going to see an awesome case where this destroys my opponent in the last match. So that's going to come up, but it's quite a quite strong card on its own. Now, it is very expensive. Four energies. We're going to have a way to charge this baby up. So keep that in mind. That's Gear Jenny EX. Next is, uh, let's talk about Mega Gengar. So he's been around for a while. You don't see him because he's just kind of weird. Phantom Gate. It chooses one of your opponent's attacks, or Pokemon, bench, or in front, any you like, and uses it against them. So why is this in this deck? I'm going to go over that bit. There's just a synergy with the energy acceleration I'm going to use. But this is what Mega Gengar does. You're going to see some interesting games with this. I brought them back mainly because, well, there are more new attacks from the expansion. So why not we copy them and see how it works? So Mega Gengar gonna come back and let's move on to Volcorna one of the newer cards and you're like what the heck why did you even put this in this deck and solar birth search your deck for basic Pokemon EX and attach two basic energies to them so if you have a Giratina you can get a grab a grass and a psychic energy if you want a Gengar it just needs a psychic and then any energy and another which is next turn is ready to go. So it's very good for setting up both Pokemons. And yeah, those are our core cards. Now I'm also using double dragon energies. Now you can see with Volcorna, you just drop that onto Giratina, it's ready to go. And you can see with double colorous energy, you drop that to Giratina or uh, Mega Gengar, and they're all ready to go. So this is how the energy acceleration and our Pokemon setup works now the other cards will be just uh more supporting the setup so you're gonna see uh, dimension valley basically gengar just needs one energy less to attack as long as you got psychic energy and inner energy it's just to help us quickly set up also i'm running a little spirit lane because i don't want to lose an attack turn when i mega evolve gengar so that's why it's there i am running shauna because four shauna should go in every deck it's just a very not very safe draw card we're supposed to say and we have Lysander you see him every single video because he wins games ridiculously I mean you just you just need him to win so we'll just keep at that I'm running a hex maniac because as you can see um, I'm running this is primarily an EX deck so anything blocking EX Pokemon this thing should help take care of it or any annoying abilities which uh, you'll see and I have uh, Ultra Balls because well this is just to get Pokemon out nothing too special and to throw away cards I don't need this is my new Lucky Ball right here because the other Lucky Ball coin flips is a little too dangerous so maybe I should uh, try this one maybe this will be a good Lucky Ball so that's why it's there uh, enough about that now I have awful retreat rates for Giratina the other Pokemon's have only one retreat cost but gear this thing it helps it forces my opponent to retreat which is gonna be kind of fun now I have crushing hammer you're like wow this is a new one it's just that i had to fill up my deck with other stuff i was running out so i said hey why not crushing hammer this could be totally annoying because this is an annoying deck put annoying items in there so 
helps out this card. Energy cards. Now, let's see. I have Verse Seeker. She'll repeat those Lysanders. Repeat very useful uh, support cards. And I think I've... Oh, Tierno. You're like, what the heck? Why'd you put Tierno in there? Because he's... I, I kind of like him a little bit better than Birch. Birch just kind of like, hey, it's you. He loves you. Seven more cards. If he doesn't love you, it really, really just screws you over. So I have Tierno right there, just as that. Oh, and Shaman, not really a Pokemon. It's Bianca EX. It's kind of like it's just another strong support, except it's a Pokemon on a bench. So we have uh, that, and I think that is everything. So I'm going to show you some matches. First two are going to be Don Fan matches. Going to get rid of those... Uh, Face those annoying decks. Then next ones you're gonna see Mewtwo and uh, Gengar, and you can see Phantom Gate put into use. And the final match, just a free case where Giratina just dominates against one of the strongest decks in the meta. So, oh, I'm hiding an Evolution deck where you can actually see this coming to work. But you just have to look in the description for it, guys. Uh, it's not going to be here. So, that's it. Let's move on to... Oh, you're still here. Well, welcome to another Giratina Gengar match. And looking at these Robo Substitutes and Fighting Energy, I know it's a Dawn Fan match. This really sucks. Okay, Gengar and Shaman. I'm going to send out Gengar. Now, luckily, I have enough to charge it up in two turns. So, that works out. And I'll take an extra card, Dimensional Valley. Okay, well, I changed it to one turn. Oh, two turns is better. So, let's go ahead and play that. Play Dimensional Valley. And should I... Sean, I've got such a nice hand. I'm not going to do that this turn. This turn. Oh, wait. So, Fanfi is out. Oh, man. If I can... I can take a good... Do night... Good night corridor. It's going to get wounded. So, we're just going to discard my stadium. Oh. So, that's going to remove my resistance against it. Yeah, yeah. See? Resistance against fighting. And uh, I will, I'll just use my double color so she can just attack it really hard next turn until it uses a uh, until it evolves so 30 damage resistance ah that's okay that's okay there we go put an energy on and now I've got such nice cards I'm not gonna do anything let's just go ahead and use dark corridor poison it and put one hit points left at the end of this turn it should go down because of the poison effects we'll see what he does he's gonna evolve it remove the poison effect and 60 hit points left I just got Lysander and end it so, gonna hit me. Okay, and then switch another Fanfi out. So, how many... That's gonna really suck. Let's go ahead and just use a... Technically a free Lysander. And get that down, and... Hmm... I, I may need one... I may need other cards. Now... Okay, let's use Ultra Ball. I got an extra Shauna. I can afford to lose the energy. And just in case... Just in case something really bad happens... I'm gonna send out a lot of Vesta. That's right, a lot of Vesta. You feel like, what the heck? What'd you play that for? All right, so now we got basic Pokemons in case the worst case scenario happens. Ooh, I could Mega Evolve Gengar. Do I really want to do that? He doesn't have any really nice attacks I can copy. So I think that's just gonna be it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Here we go. Gonna use Dark Corridor. That's enough to knock it out. And have to send something something out. That's not good. Okay, maybe I didn't really thought this through. Yeah, there we go. Dark Corridor. Gonna hit, knock this out, and send out my Larvesta. And Larvesta is like, what the heck did you do that to me? So he's like out here. Uh, okay. So, gonna grab some more uh, Hex Mania. Probably not gonna be too useful. Alright, so, got a Fanfi out. Really wanna get rid of it. Um... Hmm, we'll see. He's gonna use an Ultra Ball, maybe for a Dawn fan. No, nope, a Shaman would be much better. A Shaman. Oh, it's a Dawn fan. Oh, here it comes. Now, it's gonna... Base damage is 40 damage. Ooh, and it can't ret really retreat, so that's that. Alright, so I can evolve my Larvesta right now. I just gotta... You know what? Let me put a Spirit Link onto uh, you. I'm gonna... I don't think I'll need Hex Maxter. I got two Shauna, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. And what we're going to need, we are going to need a, not Giratina, we need a Volcorna. Alright, so let's grab Volcorna in. And I've already, can I attach a Dragon Energy? No, because I don't have any Dragon Pokemon, so I can still attach an Energy like this. So let's go ahead and attach an Energy. Now I can retreat my Pokemon and send out 
Gengar. Oh, if I Mega Evolved it, it would've, that would've been it. So, let's go ahead and use Solar Birth. And grab a Giratina out this time. Since I already got Gengar going. Giratina, grab these two energies. Good to go. Bokorna is still going to survive one more turn at least. And I, I could just retreat it. So he has a Mr. Mime out. So this thing wanted to use spinning turns. He's going to send out Mr. Mime. Okay, 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 okay. So I can actually like Xander something down. Uh, it's not going to work. He says Volcorna is awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. So, you know what? I'm going to, I don't think I, I can defeat it one turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's just go ahead and retreat. Should, uh, should I send out Giratina? Or should I send out you? And what I'll send out Giratina. Giratina, we're gonna go ahead and put a lock in. And Chaos Wheel. There we go, 100 damage. Another prize card. Ooh, Verse Seeker, definitely gonna need that. So I've got Lysander. 40 damage, that's it. Oh, okay. Looks like he's, his hand is short. There's nothing else he can play. We're gonna use Chaos Wheel. There's nothing else I can play. Yeah. There we go, 100 damage. Now I can take this out with a Lysander. Unless he's got another basic Pokemons to play. Otherwise, his Don Fan is going down. Woo! Don Fan. I, I see my name here. Fan Feet. Don Okay. Lysander? Oh, you want my Shaman? You want my Shaman? Okay, I need, a, I need a retreat now. Oh, hey, an energy to retreat it. That is it. Get a retreat. This gear. Shaman, Shaman, and here we go. Chaos Wheel. 100 damage. Goodbye, Don Fan deck. Luckily, those Robo Substitutes didn't come out. Oh, you're still here. Well, welcome to another Giratina Gengar match. I'll start off with Larvesta. I've got an Ultra Ball. This is all going to work out well. Wow, I got a Volcorn. I just need energies to actually use this with. Now, come on, Lucky Ball. Special Lucky Ball. There's this is unlucky ball. And I. Oh man, Ultra Ball is going to hurt me. I don't want to do anything else. I really want an energy. So maybe I may have to Ultra Ball these nice, nice cards for a Shaman. Now looking what's in front of me, it's going to be a Dawn Fan. It's kind of like saying my own name. Dawn Fan, Fan Fee. There's my last name right there. Corda. So this is going to be a Dawn Fan match. I really hate these things because of their nice retreats. All right, so Korna gonna grab a Dawn fan. We already know this is gonna be a Dawn fan match, and this is gonna be a pain. So hopefully we'll be able to just shut it down real quickly, really, really quickly. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball for a shame, and hopefully we'll have to. Just... Man, I'm gonna have to lose Crushing Hammer. I'm gonna lose Lysander, and no, oh, he's picking up a Pokemon tool. So we'll see which tool it's gonna be. Professor's Letter. I guess he needs energy. So he up two more energies in his hand. One, two. Okay. So they're definitely gonna go into Fanfy. Yep, Fanfy up. So he can't. Oh, he can't attack me this turn. Okay. So what am I gonna do? I've got Giratina. I'm not actually. Okay. I'm definitely ending no one for Ultra Ball. Let's give up Lysander so we can burst Secret and Giratina. Unfortunately, and I'm going to grab Gengar. No, I need my Shaman. I need my Shaman. So, there we go. Shaman, because I'm in really low on cards. And here we go. Let's play Crushing Hammer. Number one. Is this going to work? Nope. So, okay. That works out. No reason to say that. Crushing Hammer number two. And it's going to work out. So, definitely has another energy not to worry about it. And Shaman, big card draw. And Lysander. But, you know, we just need this energy. And, uh, I don't need to Lysander again, I don't think. Let's go ahead and shine it up. This is a nice hand, but I think I need other... Ooh, not bad, not bad. So, let's go ahead and use Soul Birth. I'm going to grab Giratina, because that's the card you want... Your guys are looking forward to. Let's grab one of each energies. How many grass? Oh, getting low there. So next turn, I could go ahead and put a Giratina lock into effect. And hopefully, those special energies will be a little bit annoying to him. I hope the special energy goes on in. Dawn fan and the mess is gonna start in. So 60 damage. Just gonna swap out the Halucha. Okay, well. Let me go ahead and attach a special energy and maybe I should get another Gengar and just give it up, right? 
Yeah, 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 that works out. Now, before I do that, let's go ahead and use Tierno. What do I got? All right, all right. So, Solar Birth one more time. Let's grab out Gengar. A Psychic Energy just only needs... Yeah, let's just take a second one. And, all right, there we go. I'm gonna give up my Volcarna. Give him one prize card. Let's see how he retreats this. Oh, he's just gonna put it on double colors. Oh yeah, go ahead and throw that away. Nope, he's not gonna even throw it away. So, let me go ahead and use that crushing hammer. Yay, come on, works. Oh, well, well, well. Well, he says, oh, I'm gonna let your corner survive, so thank you very much. He's gonna retreat. And we'll put an energy onto Gengar. We're gonna start our attack. There we go. Chaos Wheel. Oh, 10 damage. Why? Because of the counter attack ability. So now he's gonna put another energy on. A hundred damage. Ouch. 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 Okay, that's not so good. Well, let's go ahead and do this again. Chaos Wheel. Hundred damage. A little bit more. Oh, 30 hit points left. It's gone. So, took out that EX Pokemon. Three Mega Gengars and no Spirit Link. It looks like Gengar is gonna have to really go into play. So he's got so many cards. Wonder where everything is. Wonder where. But I've got Verse Seekers. I can go ahead and Lysander. I think I threw one down there. That's gonna be okay. And man, I need a Spear Link. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to actually poison this and do funky things. Yes, I'm gonna do funky things. Now he's gonna play Professor's Birch. Ooh, does do you love? Do you love him? Her? You love her? Oh, he, she loves her. Yes, that's a girl. Oh, boy. Lando. So Lando's gonna get thrown out once uh, Dawn Fan uses his uh, spinning turn. 60 damage. Hey, I had Dimensional Valley. Why did I put another energy on? Uh, okay. So, Giratina goes down. That's a little unfortunate. Mm, I really, I really want to make a Gengar now. So, man, I'm gonna have to swap if I use my best attack. Uh, do I really want to do that? Or maybe I should just uh, Verse Seeker into a Tiano because I kind of like my hand at the moment. Alright, Tiano, can you give me a Spirit Link, please? No, you're not going to give me a Spirit Link. What a jerk. What a jerk. Let's go get another get another Gengar going. And we're going to go ahead and use Dark Corridor and swap out into a Gengar. Yeah, that works. Now with one more energy, I'll be able to uh, attack. Or I can just attack this and it'll work out. Now check this out. Resistance to fighting. Oh yeah. Ghost Pokemon. Shouldn't be even affected, but whatever. Oh, he healed it. Gonna use energy retrieval. Get those two energies and... Oh, he's gonna fight with his Lando. And if this thing gets enough energies to use Wreck, that's a little bad. In fact, it's really bad. I don't have this really strong enough... Oh yeah, I do. I can If I go Mega Gengar, this would be good. I can just one-shot this. But I need that Spear Link, otherwise I'm just going to give up my one of my attacks, which is okay. So he's going to use an Ultra Ball, going to grab something else. Going to grab, I don't know, it's not going to be a Shaman, because he can't use Shaman like this. So maybe another Halucha, maybe a Wobbuffet? Maybe he's starting another Dawn Fan Tree. Who knows, who knows. So I have Hex... Too many Mega Gengars, it needs to Mega Evolve. It's gonna be Kangaskhan. Did not expect that. Definitely did not expect that. Kangaskhan's gonna be coming out. Not too worried. Zero damage. And he's gonna charge up his Kangaskhan. Okay, so this is a bit of an unorthodox deck. I'm gonna go ahead and discard my Volcarna. Don't need it. Don't need this Gengar or Mega Gengar. And we're gonna grab something else that maybe I do need, like a Giratina. There we go. Giratina out. Let's go ahead and attach a double dragon energy and. Let's Mega Evolve. Here we go. Mega Evolution on the back Mega Gengar. Because this has already got enough energies to go. I'm good. Alright. So, that was that. Maybe I should... Oh, boy. He's got enough energies to use Wreck. That is bad. So, when Lando retreats, he can come up and use a very nice uh, 140 damage attack. So hopefully we can Lysander and get rid of it next turn. I just need an energy. I just need an energy. And I can Lysander, so I have to actually pull an energy. Otherwise, this Gengar is going to be a little bit... Oh, boy. Well, this is not so good. 140 damage, removing my stadium. But... 
I can't put another I can't put another uh, stadium on. And I think my Gengar I can't retreat my Gengar unless I do something desperate. And that desperate thing is gonna be a Tierno because I like my hand the way it is. So let's play Tierno. And there's the Spirit Link. I, is this gonna give up the hit points it needs? No, I think I'm just gonna have to leave it. So I'm I'm stuck on energy. So let's just go ahead and put an energy on, and I'll just attack. Who am I gonna attack? Um, I'll put energy counters on Dogman. Just why not? Why not? Right? So this this is gonna allow him to take a prize card. Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Three more cards. Seven cards in his hand. Now you see I have dimensional value. He didn't play it down because he's just gonna wreck it again. So this Gengar is gone. Didn't pull the energy I needed. They're probably in my discard or somewhere in my deck or my prize, whatever. So here we go. Just, oh, I'm sorry, Gengar. If you had another energy, you would have just one shot. It was just mega evolved. Floatstone. Why? You can just use spinning turn. Okay, so he's gonna get his Kangaskhan ready to go. We're not gonna let this Don Fan live. Like we're not going to. So now he's gonna use spinning turn. And send out your Kangaskhan. Okay, so I'm gonna send out Mega Gengar, and we're like I said, that Don Than, it, it has my name. It's gotta go. So here we go. Drag this out, and um, now we can put Dimensional Valley into effect, just cause. And I'm gonna use Phantom Gate. We're actually gonna use the Wreck Attack, so I can discard my own Stadium and destroy this. Did I even really have to do that? I could just. Like, I guess Kendrick Kink is that deal. Sky Marriott. Okay. Enough about that. I did it. So, Kink is Khan's gonna come out. And I can copy his Kindred Kick. Or, or, or. It's Sky Lariat. 90 damage. Okay. And, and drill out. What's this? No, I can't use that. Oh, so not so many good cards to copies. Alright, Kindred Kick. Heads or tails? I still have so many hit points. Tails. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. And what am I gonna do? Let's go ahead and use a Crashing Hammer. Come on, lose. Yes. So I'm gonna discard a Fighting Energy. There we go. I don't really, I really can't play anything else. So let's just go ahead and, should I wreck? No, let's go ahead and just use Phantom Gate and copy Kidra Kick. Nah, let's just use Sky Larian. 90 damage. Now it doesn't copy the element because I'm a Psychic type. So. It's going down next door. Oh, what's this? Can I copy? I can't use explosive jet. Ah, uh, no, 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 not so good. Not so fun. All right, gonna put another energy on. Try to attack me. If Mega Gengar goes down, he wins. So this this cannot knock me out. And I don't think he has anything that can knock me out. Here we go. It's gonna be heads this time. That's not so cool. Hundred damage. I got fifty hit points left. And we are going to do something. We're going to use Phantom Gate. And here we go. Let's just copy uh, Sky Lariat again. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mecha. Nope, you're not Mecha. You're Kangaskhan. All right, got another Gengar and an energy that I need a couple turns ago. Okay. Okay, so Gengar is like, um, I'm hurt right now. You, you may want to retreat me. You're like, please. And let's see. I just one more prize card. This Landorus will survive any attack. Gonna use Sacred Ash, get those Dawn fans and fan feedback, but I think I got this, because the man with the clan is right here. Gonna put a fighting energy, 20 damage. I have resistance, so I survived. Otherwise, no, that would've sucked. So, so, you know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna Lysander this out. It's got less than 90 hit points. Attack, Phantom Gate. Phantom Gate into a Sky Lariat. 90 damage. Last prize card. Yeah. Oh, you're still here. Well, welcome to another Giratina Gengar match. Let's, let's go with heads. It's gonna be heads for sure. I know it. Yes, definitely. And I'll be I'll be going first. So do not as long as it's not a shaman, I'm okay. It's nothing, so he's gonna give another card. Don't be a shaman. I see a shaman and a Giratina. Whew. Ooh, well, that, that, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. So, I'm probably gonna shame into a. I'm not actually. I don't even know. So, 
Here we go. Giratina out front. The dragon is up. And no Mega Evolutions can actually work into... Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a Mega Evolution deck. I know it's a Psychic deck. Nope. Can't play Shaman. Do not be a Wobba Fed. Do not be a Wobba Fed. Because it's... Okay. Latios and Mute. Ooh, I'm not sure this is a good thing. So let me go ahead and just shrink my hand. I can't really shrink my hand, can I? So I'm going to get rid of... Man, I can't really get rid of anything. I should just start off with shame. So let's go ahead and play Tiana. What am I going to get? An escape rope. So, okay, so I, I'm starting to see how things will work out. Oh, I have more psychic energies than I need. I need this escape rope. I need Volcorn. I need Shaman. I'm going to have to lose two energies. It really sucks. Because those energies are pretty valuable. So, let's see. Let's grab out a Larvesta. I'm going to grab out a Larvesta. Let's go ahead and put an energy right on it. I can't attack it on my first turn. And, you know, let's play Shaman. Yeah, Shaman, Shaman, Shaman. It was Spirit Link. That's cool. That's really cool. Now, I think that's all I can play. I'll end my turn. So you know where this is going. I got a full cord. I was like, hey, hey, I'm ready to evolve. And then I've got a escape rope. He's charging up the wrong Pokemon because it's going to be escape rope into a Mewtwo, which may or may not be a good thing. It's Mewtwo, X-Ball, boom. Huge damage, or it could be a Gengar. So this is not looking so good. 40 damage, tier 10. I was like, ouch, 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 ouch. So, um, hey, what's in the Great Ball, though, or Lucky Ball? Nothing I want. Nope. I'm not even sure why I played that or why this is in the deck. So, let's play Escape Rope. Bye-bye, Latios. Send whoever you like out. Because, well, okay, you're going to send that thing. I'm going to send this thing. And, um, let's go ahead and evolve it to Volcorna now. This is where it gets a little funky. Let's go ahead and use Solar Birth. I'm not going to try putting energy onto anything at all. No, I like my hand the way it is. Let's go ahead and use Solar Birth, because I may potentially put those energies on. I don't know. I don't know. Here, let's grab a Psychic Energy. Only one Leaf Energy left. So another Psychic Energy, making sure this Rengar is, Rengar is going ready to go. You know, maybe putting this double colors on this thing might have been useful. Nah, I'm just going to use Solar Birth over and over until I get another uh, Giratina out. So, as a bit dangerous having this out. Now he's got, he can use Night Attack. Start putting damage counters on, three damage counters on anything. I got enough life to worry about that. Uh, not to worry about that, that is. So I really want to bring Mega Gengar out. Gonna put a hard charm, 20 less damage, so 20 more hit points. 190 hit points. Sort of. You know, he's gonna attack Korna, because he thinks Korna is, uh, no, he's gonna attack Volcorna. Volcorna, so I don't, let's go to plan B. Put this here, put a, uh, put a spirit link on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now let's let's use Shana. Shana, give me a dragon energy. Ooh, Mega Gengar is up in the ready to go, and I'm gonna use crushing hammer. Hammer! Get this energy away from this Gengar. So now he's not gonna charge it up too quickly. And let's use Solar Birth again. Here we go! Solar Birth! Gonna grab out a Giratina. Yeah, not a Larvesta. And here we go, two energies I needed, so... Well, my bench is ready much, pretty much ready to go. So next turn for corner. Gotta go home. You get to go home. E.T. goes home. And he does look like e well, you know, extraterrestrial. So he's gonna put another energy. It's like, I uh, gotta get rid of this Volcorna. But you know, Volcorna's done his job. It goes home. And Volcorna's like, ow, stop hitting me. So he's going to retreat. Gonna send out the Mega Gengar. And I can copy any attack I want. You know, let's hit it where it hurts. Get this Mewtwo out and get some prize cards. And now, Phantom Gate, I have Dimension Valley, so I can use uh, X-Ball. Yeah, I want to use X-Ball. I can use Psychic Drive, too. Or Light Pulse. This is good enough to kill. Bye-bye. Okay, so two prize cards. I can copy any attack I like. Yeah, and hit hard. Now, my I still can use Light Pulse. And now, nothing... I can't be poisoned. What's it? I can't be poisoned. I used Light Pulse. All effects of your opponent's side except damage. You can go back. You can go back. That's fine. That's totally cool. Let's go ahead and charge you up. There's no reason for me to play anything at all except I want more Lysanders. He's the man. So let's go see what we're gonna get. We're not gonna get 
Hey, there's an enhanced hammer. Get rid of that. Oh, it did not work. But I got this double color synergy, which is not going to be so useful. Let's use Phantom Gate, Light Pulse again. Or I can use Night Attack. Or Dark Cord. Uh, so many choices. Just use Night Pulse. So I'm not poisoned at all. He probably knows. Well, yeah. So Light Pulse. Oh, Pokemon Center Lady. Nurse Joy going to heal her a little bit. 120 damage. Okay, that's, it's going to survive next attack. Because yeah, she has nothing that high that I can copy. So we'll put another energy on. Going to use Fast Rate. Weaken the... Mega Gengar a little bit more. If there's a double drag energy, that's gonna be pretty bad. So what am I going to do? I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just use Phantom Gate and use Light Pulse, or I can just switch it out. Let's use Light Pulse though. Light Pulse. Woo! So if he has a double dragon energy, I'm I'm I still have enough hit points to survive it. I'm good. I'm totally good, guys. Although this thing is a bit worried, it's like. You know, I'm um, half my health is almost gone. You may want to retreat me, please. And this thing, you know, might be ready to go next turn. But he been he sh it's 10 hit points. He should invest in it. He should be investing in that thing. Actually, that thing's already fully. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So Lysander going to grab out a Shaman. Oh, he's going to one-shot my Shaman. Poor Shaman. But this... The shame, shame was just in the bench. It, it's not the critical card I need to go build stuff with. So, in that case, Mega Gengar's got dodged. Was like, oh, whew. oh, thank God it took the bullet for me. Thank God. She, okay, let's just get this underway. Let's get this underway. Is there anything I really need to play? No. Let's just. Uh, I don't need. He's not gonna disable my dimensional valley. I'll throw away Gengar too, just cause I can. And I'm gonna grab a Gengar. Yeah, gotta grab a Gengar. Put double colors in. And now I can Lysander. I don't need to. So let's use Phantom Gate. Phantom Gate. We're gonna grab Light Pulse. And goodbye, Latios. How only Gengar is left. So grab two more prize cards. Escape Rope. Double Dragon Energy. My Giratina's. Two Giratina's ready to go. Gengar's ready to go. And Mega Gengar is like, why are you still putting me up in front? Okay, it's gonna Phantom Gate, Dark Corridor next turn, go home. Oh, I won. I won already. I just got Lysander's out and bye bye. He's he should not he should not use Dark Corridor. I don't even have Lysander's. She's gonna do it for me. So, this thing is weakness to the psychic. I am a psychic Pokemon. I'm good, ready to go. I'm gonna survive. 60 damage. And Mewtwo's gonna get caught up front. And you know what? We're already good. Let's go Phantom Gate. Let's use a uh, Side Drive. Bye bye. And I have to discard one of my energies. That's okay. Mewtwo, God. There we go. Gengar. Using its Phantom. Oh, you're still here. Well, welcome to another Mega Gengar Giratina match. Now, I'm going to start off with Lord Vesta. I've got oh, no Gengar, but the Spearling, and I got an Ultra Ball. So, what am I going to do? What is this, a Rayquaza? Oh. Oh, Winona. This is gonna be a fast Rayquaza deck. Oh. Altariot. Nope. Okay, I don't got any lightning Pokemon, so that's gonna be a bit funny. Now, he's got a Shaman. Oh. Execute. Not good. So, basically, if I destroy a stadium, this is. This is a dying deck. It's not gonna work out in the next hand. So, I don't know if I'm gonna pull this off, though. Another Shaman. Oh, if he can put Skyfield. If I can disable that Skyfield with a Guaranteed, that'd be awesome. But we'll see if Larvesta, Larvesta is able to... I think I can get Larvesta going, so you'll be okay. It's gonna be okay, Donald. Totally works. This will totally work out. Yeah. So now I can actually copy Mega Rayquaza's attack. It's just that my bench won't be as filled as fast as his. It can be, though. So, let's see. Now, Larvesta is going to go down one turn, so it's just going to pave way for a Giratina. Wait, Mega Rayquaza can't hurt Giratina, so maybe this will work out. Yeah, totally. So now he's going to go AFK. He's like, what? What? Oh, he got two cards. Somehow, Mega Rayquaza's Spirit Link is up. Okie dokie. Smokey. So, 
You can't attack me this turn. That's good. That's good. I've got an extra Gengar. I got a Vert Seeker. Those are... Oh, the Mega Gengar was the actual something useful, but this is... So, we're gonna get a Giratina... Uh, oh, oh. I was not supposed to grab Giratina out. I was supposed to grab Larvesta into an energy, but... You know, this will work out too. So, I got a Spear Link. And, uh... That's... That's... So, you know what? Let's go play Retreat. Let's go Retreat this Larvesta in the back. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah. So his Mega Red Quasis actually hurt me at all. Unless he's got a Hex Maniac. But I'm not gonna let this Larvesta come down. And he's gonna send Execute. So I'll send out Giratina. Cause I have to. And that's it. I'm not gonna attach the Spirit Link to it. So your Mega Red Quasis is not gonna be useful to you. Got Lysander, my poor Larvesta out. He's like, I'm not giving you a chance. Okay, well. Thank you. Let's put another Double Dragon Energy on. And that's it. So, Larvesta out there is like, oh, why am I up here? And, oh, well, thank you. Gonna help both of us. That card. Okay. I was gonna say, you can't really use that in soon. So, he's like, I need to get past this Renegade Pulse thing. Because he doesn't have the... He doesn't have another Pokemon I can attack, except maybe Verazian. And if I can start disabling this double colors thing, I'm good. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, negating negating his special energy, so I really need to get this Giratina up front. He's gonna put an energy retreat. Okay, so you're gonna send Gear. No, 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 he can't. He's not gonna retreat. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see, use this Great Ball. Great Ball, are you gonna give me anything excellent? No, you're not. Well, that's so typical. Okay. Let's put Gengar down. Let's put a Spirit Link onto the Gengar. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just start throwing the way card. So Shauna, this energy, I really wished I could have it, but um, that's okay. So we're now gonna grab a Volcorna. I'm gonna start charging up somebody. Somebody. So now I'm gonna play this. Ugh. Am I going to get something awesome? No, oh, I am going to get something awesome. So, I'm not sure if I want to get another Giratina up. Yeah, why not? Let's get another... Uh, let's undo that action. Let's undo the action. Let's actually use this effect. So, I'm going to use this attack. Solar Burst. Make sure I get some uh, nice use out of uh, my Volcorna. And I'm going to grab one of this energies and one of that energy. Totally. Now, two Giratinas are pretty much ready to go. I just probably need a Gengar. He's gonna use a Verse Seeker. For what? What do you need? What do you need? It could be N. It could be Winona. Probably not. It could be Lysander. It's gonna be N because he did not get what he wanted. And he's like, oh no, there's a Giratina. My Mega Rayquaza can't hurt it. Alright. So, gonna refresh my hands. I'm gonna get more cards than I originally had. There was nothing in this mail. I, I know how that feels. So, okay, no. This is awesome! Giratina, you're awesome. You're awesome. Now, he's gonna retreat, send out Shaman, attack, and go back to his hand, because he's fishing, he needs to fish for the right cards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Should I can really get rid of this? Nah, I'm gonna force a retreat, because his nicer Pokemons are back here. So he's like, I'll let you, ch I'll let you choose. You're gonna send out your Altaria, which is not so useful. Okay. So now Giratina's up front. Didn't have to really do anything to do worry about that. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Cancel, cancel. I forgot to Mega Evolve my Gengar. I forgot to put an energy on my Gengar. So there we go. And I think that's all. I don't really need another one of this. You know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, hmm, 100 damage. I can get a prize card. I'm going to go ahead and start... Taking out this best Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use Chaos Wheel. 100 damage, disabling his special energies, disabling his ability to play Sky Field, disabling any any ability to use Spirit Links, Poke Tools whatsoever. So Giratina Lock is in effect. If I have to, I guess I can play the Retreat Cost and play this. I'm actually I actually can't use this Giratina unless I get a special energy card. I have three double colors and another Dragon Energy somewhere, so I'm okay. Or I can just play regular energies. So, you cannot attack with the Mega Evolution unless he uses a Hex Maniac. So, I'm not sure if Hex Maniac's is his deck, or he's been looking for it. That's why it was all these reshuffles. 
So he's like, I'm stuck. And Giratina's like, eh, I am the dragon. And my opponent's gonna go in inactivity. He's like, I need a new course of action. So this is good, this is good. My hand's stuck though, so I'm not so well. I may have to just pull out another Volcorna and buy some time if things don't go my way. But things are going my way. This is gonna totally work out. And Rayquaza's come on, so this is his plan. Gonna use Rayquaza and try to take out one of my Giratinas the normal way. But he needs regular energies, because Renegade Pulse is disabling his special energies. He cannot use the double colors. So hopefully he doesn't lie Xander something I can't retreat easily. You have one retreat. You have one retreat. You have uh, one or two retreat, depending whatever I feel like. And you have a lot of retreat. But if you come out, things are going to work pretty well. So, and he knows I have double dragon energy. I'm just trying to wait my time because my opponent just really isn't playing anything. All right, so Ultra Ball. What are you going to grab? A Mega Rayquaza? Because if you Mega Evolve that Mega Rayquaza, you can't actually hit me. Nope, it's going to be an Execute. It's like, I'm going to get an Execute for no darn reason. Going to use, okay. There goes those special energy. There goes that Sky Field. And now he, this is his hope. This hope is ragged it out. Okay. I wish I could destroy it, but I can't. Not this turn. Not this turn, at least. I'm stuck on cards. Where's my... Okay, I need Verse Seekers. I need Shanos. I need Tiernos. Yeah, yeah. Just... Just gonna hold this out. He's just gonna give up. He's just gonna give up. This is one of the strongest deck in meta. And he just gives up. Oh, oh, oh. You made it to the end. Well, congratulations. So, if you really, really want to see another match against an evolution deck using Noivern, you can see that in a description. The link might be somewhere hidden there. And next video is going to be Lugia EX. It was last place in the poll. So, we're going to make a deck that includes Lugia because it's kind of a support colors Pokemon. You know they're not supposed to be colors decks. Yeah, they help something else. Okay, okay. So, my usual deal, if you like any music, like this last one, uh, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, or probably on my website for free. And, you know, maybe follow me on my Facebook, my Twitter, like, subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. So, I think that's it for now. I'll see you next time. And it grows into friendships. Bye-bye.